V S C V S C V S C <laughs> Good morning. Oh, good morning. V S C day. <coughs> yarn and notions and yarn <laughs> and notions. It's Wednesday. It's let's sell you stuff and tell you what's on sale this week. Yay! And I was just joking with Liz that it's become the, um, it's become the, what's Rebecca working on now show so somewhat, kind of. It was well, I mean, you know, I've completely, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pull out the I've, I've completely quit knitting. Um, no. no, she's getting back to it. I'm getting it's, back it's, to it's it. her too. Okay, so we've tilted the camera so that the yarn shows up a little better, and I'm like, my head's gonna hit the top of the screen. See, it's nice being short. Even if I sit up straight, I don't know. I top just need of to slouch. That's all there is to it. Um, I'm I'm pulling up a pattern I want to show y'all of what I'm working on, which happens to be our yarn of the week or our products of the week. Um, it is a really pretty pattern that I went ooh ooh. Um, so yeah, let's start with the yarn. So Aspas Tricot, who I'm doing their Calliope sweater, that the sparkly black that I'm doing. But we haven't done introductions or anything. Go ahead, show off your pattern. No, I'll wait. <laughs> Liz is here to keep me on track. Hi, welcome to the Sun Dragon Sideshow. I just wanted to sell you yarn. The BSC BSC edition. edition. <laughs> Uh, well, it's partly because like late last night we got people like trying to slip under the wire, um, taking advantage of last week's um, notions of the week, the mindful collection, which we were hoping to get more of. I still haven't finished introduction, so I'm going to slow down for a second. Um, I'm off though. I'm off my game. Brian's on vacation and getting up early every day to go hiking. This is what you're going to get for the next two weeks. <laughs> I'm Rebecca. I'm the owner of Sun Dragon Art and Fiber. In sunny downtown, crisp, clear, chilly in the morning, but sunny, Brevard, North Carolina. I'm Liz. I'm the minion there. <laughs> my job, my, like... Your job is to keep me alive. And on track. <laughs> and on track. That's a side benefit. And... <laughs> Putting up yarn, stickering yarn... I just had this moment is of, all extra. Oh, wait, wait. Liz didn't introduce herself, and then I went, I didn't introduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be a day. I got to work and couldn't tell, or like, wait, <laughs> where's Rebecca? She must be at the post office. Okay, she's at the post office. I sent her a text and nothing, and and I'm like, and I saw I that she occupied. brought in my, her coffee thing, and that was sitting there, so I'm like, oh, she's already been here at the shop. And then I sit down and I'm starting to think about, you know, what to do because she hasn't <laughs> given me any instruction. And I'm like, wait, what if she didn't wake up? What if like her alarm never went off and she's still in bed or something happened on the way here? Oh, wait, her computer's sitting right in front of my face. So she's been here. I just like, yeah. It's going to be a day. <laughs> <laughs> that okay. never happens. So where was I? Yes. Oh. Stargate the brush. No, no, no. I'm oh. getting back to that. <laughs> so <laughs> um we got it on a last minute order which i had i ran in and packed up um people try and take advantage of last week's products of the week which included the mindful collection from knitter's pride which i was hoping we'd have more things from that collection to show off today but they have not arrived yet so maybe next week but we it, have it, some good chances are they'll get here this afternoon <laughs> so next week it's okay yeah um, but that leads me back to, um, we had s several ideas and, and I should say, um, the Knitter's Pride stuff is still going to be 15% off until I can get this stuff up. So take your chances. Whatever's listed under products of the week, that category in our online shop is what you can get your 15% off on. And I won't switch it until I've figured everything out. <laughs> It takes some time. Generally late in the day on Wednesday. Yeah, it tends to be later in the day, like after our yeah. stuff here, because we have appointments all day. Um, but I'll, I'll do what I can when I can. So we, 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 we had a lot of different thoughts about what to do for Yarn of the Week, and um, I, I almost started a new project last night. So um, 
And it was this Espace Tricot. This is where I was when we remembered we hadn't done introductions. Um, the Calliope sweater that I'm making with all the sparkly black. Um, they have lots of fun patterns and a lot of them are free. And one that they just advertised their own kits for on um, Instagram was this hat called Night Blooms. And, and for them, it was really cool because they're mixing yarns. It's, it's a color work here, I'll show you. They're, um, they're mixing yarns, uh, a worsted weight and a DK. One is uh, a superwash merino and one is like a thicker mohair. Because usually when we all think of mohair and silk, we think of this really thin stuff that you hold with stuff like the spas, like the calliope. This is one that, that the, the yellow in this is a mohair and um, already is thick enough, it doesn't need to be held with anything. And it gives you this fuzzy, fun texture. And I, I thought, ooh, I have a yarn I think that would look wonderful in. It is the Stargazer Brush. By it's Jennifer already wound. Wound. It was already wound. I started a sample with it um, a long time ago. <laughs> a pattern that, here, it's in here somewhere. A pattern that came with it of a cowl. Like, it just looks really fun in color work. Look at that. That's like, that's like a, a quilting, yeah. you know, motif, almost, star. And it's, it has the fuzzy halo of mohair, but it's llama and silk. And it's like, it's, it's kind of like um, the best of all worlds in a way, because it is almost the same construction as Luminosa, which is, which is like a wool and alpaca, right? I think so, or nylon and alpaca. Nylon alpaca. and, okay. And this is llama and alpaca. Let me try that again. Llama and silk. She's going to read the stats, so I don't Actually, mess it up again. It's Lama and Silk. It's not. That's what my label said. This says 95% baby Lama and 15% not. That's what I meant. I can't. I woke up early this morning. <laughs> Scratch the silk. That's mohair. Mohair is combined with silk. Lama and nylon, I almost want to edit it out, but um, we'll just say it a bunch more times, so, and it'll be in the description. Nylon, nylon, nylon. I looked at it this morning. When I put up my, my um, morning meditation, I think I said it right. If not, I'll go back and edit it. It is a chainette, like if you look really closely at this, it's a chainette of nylon, really fine chainette, with llama like poofed into it. So it's all fluffy but really lightweight. It's not like a heavy twisted yarn. Again, Liz will keep me on track from, from saying things incorrectly. Um, and so even though I'm not mixing texture, so I had, I had two, these colors balled up, skeined up. I Caked. just realized. What? You tend to go towards those colors. Like I know, I was realized, look, right? I realized that during morning meditation. <laughs> I'm losing my stitches. So. I realized when I was doing my morning meditation that yes, this is a purple and a gold. And yes, this is kind of a purple and a gold. But this is much warmer. I picked it's this a like a year different ago. different purple and gold. Yeah, and I picked this a year ago when I picked a color combination for the other thing. Would but, you like me to read And stats? this is, hang on, almost. <laughs> this is really close to the colors that Espace Tricot's sample is in. Look at that color work. Look at that color. I'm it trying just, to stretch it, it looks all sweet out though, without it? losing stitches on the backside. Um, it is so pretty, and this is fuzzy and yummy, and you can kind of see that halo. Um, and I promise it's not the same exact colors as my sweater, but it's kind of close. So um, the gold is not as warm as the. If you look up the um, Night Blooms hat, the gold here is not quite as as warm golden. It's more of a pale gold. Um, and that's really hard to capture in photographs and on film. But anyway, yes, Liz, why don't you show off, why don't you read the stats, please, of this yarn? <laughs> Stargazer brushed. Yes. Extra fine baby llama. It's 85% baby llama, 15% nylon. For 100 grams, you get 
284 yards or 260 meters. So it's a lot of yards. Mm -hmm. But it's still considered a worsted weight yarn. It's still yarn. considered a worsted because you want to do it on the bigger needle soil. Yeah, well, and the chainettes, um, you might get the same wraps per inch, but it, it doesn't weigh as much. It's not as heavy of a yarn. So even though it's the it's almost the same thickness, um, you'll get more yardage out of 100 grams. Keep going. Uh, hand wash, you know, all the normal. Uh, they're saying a U.S. 7 to 9 for mm. knitting needles worsted weight needles yep and, and I'm, I'm doing my head on the eight i from to a six a for crochet let it let it let volumize it more and fluff more so this really dark but warm purple which will show up too dark on camera we'll try to get some accurate photos online we'll see what we can do there's also this luscious burgundy um then there's a lot of like natural colors we have green. Ooh, this is that's a really uh, pretty forest green. green yeah. Okay, they, I didn't know that. This is called dots. Argos. Argos is the burgundy. Um, Janus. Bacchus. Huh? This one's Bacchus. Bacchus, Janus, and Artemis are the colors I'm using. Uh, this is Mercury. It's what we would might, might call an affectionately an off black. It's pretty much, it's a, like a gray. Almost an off black slate. Hades is the cream color. Adonis is the light gray. And there's a, there's a dark gray. It's hiding under here. Medium gray, I should say, because that's the dark gray. Um, messier is, it's kind of a blue gray. I like that. Um, the brown. Da, 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 da keeping me on track again, right? Um, this is Osiris. Actually, this might be the one they're considering black. Osiris, it is a really dark brown. It's probably the natural llama black, which we have some other llamas, like llama lace up in the corner. You, like, it's right over Liz's head, right before the needles. Um, the one they call black is actually dark brown because it's natural. The, like llamas, I mean, I think it's Vicuna that actually has the black, but llama is the darkest llama you're going to find is going to be really dark brown. Um, most most natural black is really dark brown. This one's called Atlantis. Every other Atlantis thing I've seen is Ooh. like watery themed, but this is this is like our walnut heather type of color, but it's called Atlantis. Um, and then we have some yummy bright colors. Like some of these come with the funky labels wrapped around, and some of them come with tags, but they all have the same fiber content. Um, I've noticed that happens with Juniper Moon, like the cumulus, some of it yeah. has, has the tags differently. Um, this is Viridian, really pretty blue, and uh, Terracotta. I guess with some of the, I want to say the tags are the newer colors, and maybe they ran out of, of god names, so they started well, just they, Terracotta. They, there's Roman and Greek and Egyptian and And then Terracotta, myths. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, um, it is, it is so nice, like, so, um, the Luminosa had a chainette of the brilliant color and black fluffed into it, and this, I want to say, most of the chainettes are almost like a white or dark nylon, and then the llama being fluffed in has the dye and the color, and it's just really pretty. So, if you want soft and warm but not heavy, this is the way to go. And and look, awesome for color work. Um, the yarn's gonna be 15% off this week. I, I need to I never did say how much it was, Jerry. I don't think so. Let me look. It's $21.95 regular price. Um if I can get through this hat and make sure that we can get like maybe a hat out of half a ball, half a skein. Um, I I may try to make some kits. And if I get them done fast enough. I will put them on the product of the week thing so you can save some money on the kit for the hat, which has a free pattern that goes along with it. Um, however, I don't, I can't promise that's going to happen. That's a hope and a dream. Um, we realized this morning, somehow, we only have one of these left of the beautiful gold. But I've always told y'all that if we run out of, of inventory online for a product of the week, you can pre-order at the 15% off price. 
I don't know if I can if I can make the magic work online for that. But it, but the fifteen percent off is online with the code product of the week, singular product of the week. It says that online too. Um, if I can't, or at the shop, I should say. I'm getting ahead of myself again. Um, so if you walk up to the shop anytime before next Wednesday, 15% off. If you're like, I can't wait for it to go up, or you notice it's not up by tomorrow, come tomorrow to the shop, get your 15% off. Um, if I, if, if there, the ability to pre-order is not there, like if it says out of stock and it won't let you order, call the shop. We'll still give you the discounted price for a pre-order until we do the show next week. So, um, I have hopes and dreams of making kits, and if I can get them up before next Wednesday, when they're up until next Wednesday, they will also have the discounted price. That's my hope and dream. Anyway, um, transitioning though, if you looked at that photo, one of our notions of the week, product of the week, that's a notion, is based on the photo there, because do you see that hat has a fluffy pom-pom? And so my hat should have a fluffy pom-pom and your hat should have a fluffy pom-pom. So we're putting our fluffy pom-poms. Everybody needs fluffy pom-poms. Everyone needs a fluffy pom-pom. And um, the ones that are already online, but again, they won't be 15% off until I swap over everything. I'm gonna make a clean break between last week's and this week's. So it's all gonna change at the same time. So only if you see it in the product of the week category will, will it start. Um, are these guys, our, our fluffy fun, fun color, like look, that might look really good. Don't you think Liz? Who's focusing oh, on her pattern? yeah. <laughs> um, I like that. This, like this that. is awesome if you want a lighter pom-pom. Um, the dark, see this one, oh my gosh, sorry. You're fine. <laughs> this one's just like, if we want to go dark and broody. These guys aren't online yet, the ones that aren't carded. Um, but I'll try to get them up today. This will give me a reason to get them up today. Um, so the, there's two different categories of our pom-poms. There are, there are these guys. We've talked about these ones before. I think we talked about all of them before, but we weren't doing specials. The ones on the cards, they're the for real pom-poms. Oh, these are the same ones. I'm Oops. missing a blue. There's a blue and a purple. They are the same one? Yeah, there's a blue, but these. Ber Berger Berger I don't even know how yeah. to say that. Um, the so the blue. for real ones, the ones that, um, except for like this, this guy is the only one in our natural color ones that's a little bit more fun. We'll talk about him in a second. The lighter, fun colored ones are for real pom poms. And um, they, they say they're vegan, they're 100% acrylic. No animals were harmed in the making of these pom poms. Um, they are about four and three quarters, they're almost five inches across. And the for real ones, carded like this, are 11.25 regular price. And we've got, this is Purple Finch, which I think would go wonderfully with this. It's kind of a, a mauve color. It's one of my favorites. I like mauve, haha. -ha. Um, we got a bright pink that is Rose Gala. It's a very bright pink. Mm -hmm. This one's kind of a burnty, orangey pink. It's like a, it's, it's almost like a coral color. Yeah. Um, Firefox. And then we have the blue buddy Budget gear, budget gear, something like that, and royal peafowl, which are both blues, but just slightly different. Yeah, like the royal peafowl has a little more white in it. I want to say, yeah. and frosted tips. Yeah, this one's the peafowl. So, but they're very close in color. And at first, when I got them in, I want to say the blue one has has a little more black in it. Yeah, the so the, the highlight color is a little different. Yeah, um, the pictures online might help clarify that. Um, and then we have, um, we have our more natural colored tribbles for your Star Trek fans. <laughs> These our are basket of tribbles. Our basket of tribbles. These are the online pom-poms. Um, all of these, by the way, have a snap. Have the way you fasten them on is, um, even the, the for real ones, they have a little snap that comes off that you can sew this to the hat and then you go snap it in place. Um, which makes it great for washing your hat. Yes. So these don't get, these squishy guys don't get ruined when you have to wash your hat. Um, for these guys, 
I don't have all the colors here because I only I have stickers on the bottom of some of them to tell them apart. This one I think is either black or gray, but this is the gray. Never mind. This one's gray. This one, if he's not called black, well, you'll know online. Um, he's black with a little bit of white, just a little hint, hint of white. This guy's mostly gray with like black tips. Very fun. Um, these guys, by the way, the pom poms, the online pom poms, 1995. A little higher quality, natural colors. The fur wheel ones are really fun too, though. They're 11.25. So this one's called Wine. It's my favorite. It's on a hat that I've made that's somewhere here in the shop, but we're not going to waste time right now looking for it. But it's how I demonstrate how these work. It, it it's a chocolatey red. Yeah, it's like it's like really really deep red wine with black tips. Really fun. So um, it's not like it's gorgeous. Yeah. We have the pearl is is completely white, completely completely. Um, this one's nest. No, this one's snow. I want to oh. say, I want to say nest is one of the brown ones, but um, this one doesn't have a sticker on the bottom of it because it came off. But this is white with black tips. You see the difference. You want pure white or if you want white with a little character so um and then this is nest and this is wheat and they're kind of the opposite of each other so like is nest is darker down by the base dark in the base and light frosted tips and this one is the so and, and yeah, nest dark at the base frosted tips wheat is light with darker tips so just different tones of kind of a warm rich brown tan okay so those are our natural ones um it's 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 getting to be colder it's going to be hat season put a fun pom-pom on your hat well and christmas knitting pom -poms pom -poms are always oh yeah it's my awesome. my niece last year wanted a hat with pom-pom and i did get a critique from it the hat wasn't slouchy enough <laughs> I was like, well, and it a pom -pom, has a pom -pom on it. Pom poms can help a slouchy hat hang right instead of yeah. just kind of sticking up funny. You can yeah. help it like slouch. These, so again, the more natural color triples, except for the wine, are 1995. And then, oh, oh look at you go. Triples so close. not found in nature. Yes, the, the really, the, the, the triples that have been dyed <laughs> a little more. Um, the funky colored ones, soft palette, but really pretty, right? The, f the fur reels are eleven twenty five. All of these, once I get them up online, will be 15% off until next Wednesday. Remember, you can come by the shop and take advantage of this, or online you can use the code product of the week at checkout. Okay, um, but, but the code won't work until I finish putting them up, so check that category and see what's there. That's what the code works on. A lot of different things I have to toggle and switch, and it takes a few minutes. Um, and then Liz brought brought up, ooh, let's make this a product of the week. It is an oldie and a goodie, and a how to keep track of your pattern. Highlighter tape. Highlighter <laughs> tape. We have uh, orange. We have we have the brighter. I think we have the fluorescent. No, these are just the regular. I don't. Know. We have every color that I can get from Bryson basically, who's my distributor for notions. Yeah. And they're all, like, think about highlighters you use. They're neon colors. Yeah. I think it's great. They have a neon section, but anyway, we have, we have all the colors. Yeah. So um, we have, I'm going to hold it this way so you can kind of see. This one's purple. Even though it looks pink, it comes out deeper um, than the pink. This one's the pink. That's the pink. I mean, if we hold them, I'm tilting it the wrong way because of the, yeah. It's kind of hard to see. Kind of hard to see, but this one's this one's a darker color than the pink. And then we have the orange. Uh huh. Orange. It's highlighter orange. Ah, traditional yellow. Oh, okay. I see on the back here. There is a fluorescent yeah. color somehow, but it's not. It's not. On they must be even brighter. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> blue. Uh huh. And green. And these say that it's a half inch by seven, 720 inches, 720 inches on here. Um, 640 is the regular price for a roll of highlighter tape. And the cool thing is it's reusable. Liz has an example. So, um, oops. 
Take your highlighter tape. <laughs> and this <laughs> one, this one is, is, uh, is that the one that's been on the it's, table? It's been on the table because every time it pulls, there's a snag in it. I have never had this happen to any other one, but this small. Yeah. Roll. So you pull your piece. I always put a little, um, she folds a little over. I fold a little over at the very end to where I have something to peel up. Tab. She a makes tab. a tab. And then um, if you're putting it on a uh, pre-printed, I think this is pink. Yeah. yeah. Uh, pre-printed pattern. Like a computer printed pattern, um, I would be careful with. Like if, if you print it out at home, put yeah. it in a, in a sheet because it can lift up the ink. You can pull it up and put it down and yeah. the sticky stays on it and use it over and over and over and over and over again. Um, a laminated sheet of paper, it tends to be fine with if it's um, regular paper from the printer. If you use it too many times, you can start to pull up the ink. Um, but but I, great way to keep track of it. I have, I have a hat pattern, my um, fisherman's wife pattern, and it has all these, every row is different. So I've had or I use the same sticky for probably two or three hats. Pick it up, put it down on each Pick row. it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. And mm -hmm. once, I mean, after a while in your yarn bag, it kind of gets fuzzy, but I can use it for about two or three hats in there the same, you, you know. One piece of tape one can piece last of tape. you a long time. So it's not like you only get one piece of tape per, per, per row. row. Oh my gosh, you, you tear through Tear all through that. it. So, Reusable, yeah. really cool. Um, if you're doing the papillon, there's a lot of rows you have to repeat over and over and over again. So you can't necessarily just cross them off or check them off because the little boxes, the red and the orange and the green and the blue boxes, like squares that are instructions, are used so many times in that pattern that you can't just check them off when you when you get through them. <coughs> Woo! Because um, you have to do them so many times, you wouldn't be able to read your paper anymore. But if you use your highlighter tape to move down the row, there you go. We have the um, the chart keepers that have a magnet you can move down, but sometimes that magnet will slide. If you're, you're traveling from place to place with it, it's great when you're just sitting there using it. But um, if you're trying to mark your place and, you're, and, and you have to put it in your bag, it could slide. I, I like using the magnet to place. stick the thing, the pattern up. Mm -hmm. and then put my highlighter tape on because it's not going anywhere. There you go. Like, it's Very cool. just, yeah. Yeah. So that's what we have to show you this week that's going to be 15% off. Um, and I will work to get that online as soon as I can. And there's some other basics in the shop here that I that haven't been on, on our online shop yet that I'm hoping to get up soon. However, Time, energy, oh my gosh, it, it's, it's challenging. We have a lot of people who say, well, why isn't, I can't find this yarn on, in your online shop. And um, most of our basics like Encore and Cascade 220 and those, there's so many colors. We, I'm limited with the online shop that I can offer you because it has to be linked to my point of sale. It's probably more technical stuff than you need to know, but I gotta explain it. I feel like it helps to explain it. Um, they have a really good system set up. However, one of the limitations is I can't put up more than 12 pictures. For So for any yarn that you do use the drop down to select, I can only put up 12 pictures. Y'all know I have a lot more colors than 12 of most of these yarns, um, especially Encore. And uh, Cascade Encore 20. has, oh my, we've added cubbies to our Encore wall. You've got uh, maybe 40 or 50 colors or something like that. And so that means to put them in, a, in enough photos that you can see the colors. Because you could go to Encore's uh, Plymouth site or Cascade site. We aren't going to have every color they make. And I'm not always a big fan of, of their pictures. I know they're trying just as hard as we are to, to capture true color, but there's so many problems with that. So um, there's their pictures and then what you're viewing it on. And even if I try really hard to get true color, what you're viewing it on could still distort the color. Online shopping is so hard. Um, but we have to figure out the math and cram as many colors into a photo as possible and then hope that 
multiple colors doesn't throw if off you, the color value. If you one. put ah. four teals in a picture, they all look the same. They might, yeah. Or if like, and uh, we tried with one of the yarns, like with Chill, Sugar Bush Chill, to put all of the same family together so we could hopefully get the color right. Because like if I put a red with a teal, like Liz like, likes to knit with, one of the colors might look right and the other one won't. And yeah. Because they're both notoriously hard to get the right color on and and together they're like, I tried to take a picture yesterday, personal beef, <laughs> of my calliope black sparkly with the green we got in that I would like people to make their sweater out of because um, it's the one I was going to make mine out of before I started the yummy black. And there's no way to get both of those colors looking correct in the same photo. It almost looked like a pea green, not a moss green, but a bright yellow pea green over a forest green instead of a black. It was like, just, oh. Uh, so anyway, challenges. Thank you for listening. <laughs> um, but this week, 15% off for the week, Stargazer brushed, which is just so fun. And we have limited supplies in stock. We'll try to make some hat kits. But we also don't want to take away inventory if you want to make like something bigger out of this. Um, but you, but you can place a pre-order with us if we don't have enough in stock for what you want to make, and you can still get the fifteen percent off. I you probably have to call the shop for that rather than trying to purchase it online. I'll do what I can. Um, that's always better because we can check with this yarn. We can check instantly online and see if we can order it for you or if it's back order. And you, you know, we could discuss that before you purchase. Um, I think that's always smart. So especially, especially with the way 2020 has gone, where you don't know what's going to be back ordered when. Yeah. Like it's it's just like my shop's not a magic box. The yarn companies aren't magic. Why don't you have everything? Um, there was in the beginning of this pandemic, there they had shut the warehouses down, and it was questionable if I was going to get anything. And luckily most places kept it going enough that we never fully ran out of stuff, which was great, but you just never know. So anyway, so thank you for your patience and understanding. And I hope you find yummy things in this yarn that you want to make ah, because it is, it's just so soft. And it is soft and squishy. And soft and squishy. And great. There are dark and broody colors. So it's awesome. makes Liz happy. Yeah. But also some nice natural. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So, um, if, if there isn't a color combo for the hat, when you go to look that you like, you can call us and we can maybe make you a combo based on the colors we have. All right, um, I need to get ready for the lessons and shopping appointments of the day. We love you and we miss you. And um, we have Dear Becky and Lizzie tomorrow. And- With no real letters. No real letters yet. We, we've had multiple people come up with um, lyrics for songs for the shop that we mentioned last week. And I don't know if I can sing Welcome to the Jungle well enough to, to sing these for you. We'll see. <laughs> we love that multiple I'm people- I'm not going to even try. <laughs> we love that multiple people have come up with lyrics for us. Um, and I will butcher them tomorrow if I try to sing any of them. Uh, Cause I only know like a few lines from Welcome to the Jungle <laughs> now that I've suggested it as our shop song. So yeah. But if you have a pressing question, we might get back to, I mean, I keep threatening this and I feel bad for the person who's asking about this if we don't get to it, but we could talk about blocking if all else fails tomorrow. And if you can also email us if you want to get a topic on tomorrow's show, which would be Liz at sundragonartandfiber.com. Oh, the whole name of the shop, all written out, all words, no, no symbols. Um, and if you want to write us a letter, we love getting those. And we'll talk about it next week. You can send it to Dear Becky and Lizzie. Sun Dragon Art and Fiber. 35 South Broad Street. Brevard, North Carolina. 28712. I didn't realize <laughs> it was going to come back to me. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go get ready for the day. We both are. And um, stay safe out there. And thank you for being part of our community. And if you haven't, subscribe. And at least give us a thumbs up and share it with people who you think might want to follow us too. Let's grow the Sun Dragon community. It's so fun. Okay, I'm going to go turn us off. Bye. See you tomorrow.